This app right here is a masterpiece. And I think every Android user should know this app. Let me show you guys something really cool. This is my phone. I actually use a custom ROM because I don't like the stock ROMs, but don't you worry, you can actually use this app on both stock ROM, custom ROM. The main point of this video is about this. Let me restart my phone. So here you can see uh, I'm restarting my phone. Actually, what's happening here is that it is booting a different ROM. Okay, now I can let this thing go. <laughs> that camera was too shaky. Now look at this. This is a different ROM that I booted into and I still have my stock ROM that actually the custom ROM that I'm using. So basically I am doing a dual boot, not actually dual boot. This is something called dynamic system update. And there is an app called DSU Sideloader, which lets you test custom ROMs GSIs without actually affecting your main rom this is just amazing application for all the android users out there you know android is well known for its customization and custom roms and all that stuff so this app makes everything so easy because we can test out other custom roms before actually installing them so i was actually looking for a new custom rom and i found this app yeah this thing actually made my life a lot easier 100 actually 101 percent easier now actually let's get back to our main rom here i am back to my normal rom right now so this is the app called dsu side loader now let me show you guys how to use this app to download this app you can go to this github page from here you can download this app for free because it's open source you can also get it from afdroid second you need this app called Shizuku. You can get it from Google Play Store. And third app we need called Travel Info. You can also get it from Google Play Store. Once you have all these apps installed, first you need to open this app, Travel Info, and then go to Details. This will give you the travel support info on your device. So go to the details section and then here most important thing that you need to look for is dynamic partitions. Make sure that it is enabled. If you don't have this enabled, it says disabled or not supported, then you cannot use this DSE side loader. If the dynamic partitions are enabled, then you're all good to go. You no longer need Treble Info app. But don't uninstall it yet, because there is one more thing that it can do. Really cool thing, trust me. Now let's check out the main application, DSU Side Loader. Open it up and it will ask you to set up the storage. So click on Setup. And here, create a folder if you want to. I have created one folder called DSU. I'm gonna allow this folder to use so basically we are allowing this to access the folder so click on use this folder allow and make sure that your device has the bootloader unlocked you don't need to have a custom rom or root on your device you just need a bootloader unlocked in your device that's all you need and that's not that difficult task to do if you haven't unlocked your device's bootloader then unlock it and then proceed so i have the bootloader unlocked and i'm gonna click on proceed and here where all the magic happens i want you guys to read this what is dsu dsu means dynamic system updates it's actually a feature built into the android above uh, android 10 built for developers to test their uh, android updates without actually affecting the main system so basically this app is using that feature and allows us to do all the cool stuff yeah now i want you guys to click on this gear icon at the top right side and look for operation mode and here you'll see adb you can also use this as a root if your device is rooted but if your device is not rooted don't worry it will set this as a adb and you can use adb to do the magics yeah actually install the custom roms without affecting your system so leave it as it is now to use the ADB, we have two options. We can use ADB through PC. If you don't have a PC, don't worry. This is why we downloaded the Shizuku app, all right? Now it's time to open Shizuku app and we need to run this thing. First, we need to pair it. So click on pairing and make sure that whatever it asks, 
you allow that so we need to allow the notification and now we need to go to the developer options and we need to enable the wireless debugging so go to developer options and enable the wireless debugging actually click on wireless debugging option and then click on pair device with pairing code now we need to enter the pairing code in shizuku oh i actually forgot to remember the code i'm gonna click this pair with device option make sure that you select that and i'm gonna enter the code very easy this way and i'm gonna send this to shizuku now it says pairing successful you can start shizuku service now now we need to go back to the shizuku and i'm gonna go back and i'm gonna click on start if this says developer option again then just go to the wireless debugging again and then turn this off and turn that on again and go back to shizuku and it will just run a adb so basically what we did here is we somehow with the help of this app shizuku enabled adb within android now we don't need a pc or root thanks to this app it's an amazing app isn't it so for whatever reason if you ever need a adb on your device you can use this app this app is amazing all right now we have the adb thing running or shizuku running <clears throat> actually one more thing i forgot we need to authorize application all right so once it says shizuku is running click on this option this gear option where it says authorized zero applications click on that and in here make sure that dsu side loader is enabled once you do that go back and open dsu side loader and we can start installing custom rom gsis so for that we need a rom file so easiest way to find custom rom gsi files is using this app treble info app yeah we need this app one more time so open this treble info app so in the front page click on browse images it will open a github page made by fuson and just scroll down all right here you'll find all different types of custom rom gsis so whichever rom you like you just use it there are almost all the most popular custom roms gsi available right here so we have official ones uh, ancient os project elixir even official google gsi is there aosp leaf os and even unofficial ones like the pixel experience that i am actually using right now and many other i don't need to explain you guys anything right i know you guys are very smart so basically here choose whichever rom you want to test out so uh, you will find the download links there where it says links you click on that download link and download the custom gsi rom that you want to download one more thing that you need to keep in mind that don't use android version higher than your installed android so let's say i have the android 13 installed in my system so i cannot actually use android 14 or actually can't test android 14 so i have to test the android 13 or below yes we can check the android 12 11 10 yeah but higher versions cannot be tested now once you have downloaded the gsi rom go back to dse side loader and click on select file and go to your downloads folder so i have this project elixir uh, uh, rom downloaded here so select that and then click on install and proceed you don't have to do anything like if it's a zip file xz file or whatever format it's in uh, let it be don't extract it because the extraction will actually happen within the dsu side loader so sit back relax uh, maybe drink a water yeah the water was tasty it will take a couple of minutes so just wait once it's done extracting it will say preparing image file which means we are almost there now it will take maybe one or two minutes maximum so whole process actually takes almost like maximum five minutes and i forgot to mention two more things user data size 
and image size actually you don't have to enable them but for some reason if you want to increase the user data size you can do that and i don't recommend above 5 gigabyte by default i think it uses 2 or 3 gigabytes yeah you don't actually need to touch anything so unless if you want to install something later once you you know install the custom rom and right now we are just using the default settings no nothing so at some point it will give you a warning and it will ask for a uh, you know fingerprint or lock screen confirmation so make sure that you confirm by unlocking your device so i'm going to use the pattern actually you can't see my screen because android doesn't allow you to record so basically i'm just using my uh, pattern to unlock my device so basically once you do that uh, it will start installing so you can see it's processing the system partition and done yeah done it took like i don't know i didn't record at the time but it took almost a five minute so once it's done it will say image installed successfully now go to your notification panel and look for dynamic system updates and here you just need to restart your device so let's actually I'm, I'm really sorry for the bad quality so i think this is the best way <laughs> to show you guys it's an old um, webcam and i'm really sorry for bad quality again but it will do it will do yeah i think it will do the job <laughs> so basically you can see my phone is booting and here it is this is the rom we just installed project elixir here it is let's finish setting this up we have successfully installed the custom rom that we wanted to test and it is not affecting your actual uh, stock rom yeah it's fully you know functional you can test all the things you know you have the full power of your device it's not virtually working it's actually physically installed so you can test out everything and do whatever you want to do you know <clears throat> actually i can connect it here yeah very nice yeah <laughs> that looks better way better than shaky uh, hands so once you're done testing everything uh go to the notification panel open the notifications area all right and look for dynamic system updates again and just restart or you don't have to do that or you can just physically restart if you want to it will just go back to the stock room so let's do that and here i am back into my main rom now if you don't want to have that custom rom installed in your system all you have to do is click on discard which will delete the installed rom if you want to keep it uh, just don't delete it don't click on discard and every time you need to go back to that rom the custom rom you can always click on restart and it will take you there yeah there yeah <laughs> i don't know why i'm doing that so let's say i'm done so i'm just gonna click on discard and it will actually delete that rom so now let's go back to the dsu and you can see here we have the option to install that rom again so here i was talking about the user data size by default it i think it uses two or three gigabytes so here you can actually type three gigabyte two gigabyte one gigabyte but one i think one gigabyte is too small so you can go five gigabyte uh, in my opinion five gigabyte is like the good amount and don't touch the image size it said something so don't even try just leave it as it is and that's it we are done hope you enjoyed it if you still have any questions you can always do the comment and we can have some ch chat in the comment section too and yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care yourself and have fun bye bye